so welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Leisha and I am a first grade teacher in Atlanta Georgia make sure that you like comment down below and subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so that you don't miss any of my uploads My kids go every other week to talent development, which is like the stage one before they are, I guess, tested to be in the gifted program. So they go as a whole class every other week on Wednesdays for 30 minutes to talent development. And then I guess that's how they figure out which kids they want to pull for testing. I don't know, but it gives me a free... 30 minutes but also it takes 30 minutes of instruction away but we're rolling with it okay what I was saying was another monkey wrench is that um our schedule is changed on Wednesdays and Thursdays because we do an in a 45 minute intervention block at the beginning of the day twice a week that's district wide um and everybody has to be doing it at the same time so our focus this year is math i think it's like a three-year plan and so we started last year and so we're doing it again this year this piece of hair is really bothering me because why are you sticking out like that but so yeah so today i just kind of combined the intervention lesson plan with our math lesson plan as a whole and that's what we did and that's what you're going to see clips of right here all right, try to get a smart board. Let's go smart board. We are going to use tens and ones to show numbers to 120. Say, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Did you know that dimes are worth 10 cents? Yes. No. Yes. yes. Repeat after me. Oh. Dime, dime, little infant. Dime, dime, little I remember your word 10. Dime, dime, little infant. Dime, dime, little infant. I remember your word ten. I remember your word ten. Did you know a penny was only worth one cent? Yes. Yes. Repeat after me. Penny, penny, easily spent. Penny, penny, easily spent. Copper, brown, and worth one cent. Copper, brown, and worth one cent. Ooh, that's not everyone's voice. Penny, penny, easily spent. Penny, penny, easily spent. Copper, brown, and worth one cent. Copper, brown, and worth one cent. And we just saw in our short little morning meeting that a tin rod is tin. So you can exchange, say exchange, exchange. a tin rod for a dime. Say, whoa. Oh. You can exchange a tin rod for a dime. You can exchange a one unit for a penny. You can exchange a one unit for a penny. Try to get a smart board. Let's learn how to use dimes and pennies to show numbers to 120. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Uh, I have a question. I have an answer. How could we use our money, say money, money. to show the number 90? Talk to your partner about it. How could we use our money to show the number 90? Don't do it. You can use Okay, so explain to your partner how we can use our money to show 90. Um, we could do one, ten, one, ten, five, ten. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19, 19, 19. Okay, you guys need to talk about it. Let's go, Alyssa. I mean, all eyes are on her. She's not going to start until all eyes are on her. Nine nickels. Hmm, that's not a nickel, friend. What is that, friends? A dime. So we can get nine. Dime. We can get nine dimes. Agree or disagree? Disagree. Hmm, disagree means you think that her answer is wrong but you're holding up your thumb so do you agree you think she's correct or disagree 
Agree. Say, way to go, Alyssa. Way to go, Alyssa. 92 is how many tens? Nine. And how many ones? Two. So if we already have nine dimes, what can we add to show our two ones? Two, two more dimes. No, not two, two more pennies. dimes. Two more pennies. Two pennies. Way to go, Xavier. Way to go, Xavier. Way to go, Alyssa. Way to go, Alyssa. All right, this was a practice run. Say practice run. Practice run. I'm going to show you some more numbers. And I'm going to give you one minute to change your board to match the number. Can you do it? Yes, I can. All right. The timer is on one minute. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. I don't want you to see the number as soon as it comes up. I want everybody to have the same amount of time. Open them. Can you show me this number on your board? Okay, Adriel, can you fix the 10 side? One. How many dimes do you need if the number is 48, friend? Um, one, we got it. Say, four, five, six. Do you need all six if the number is 48? We got it. No, show me how to fix it. Thank you. tens and ones with the dimes and the pennies we have a little um, independent practice activity where they're just doing matching the um, standard form of the number to the base 10 to um, picture groups and also to dimes and pennies Okay, so the next part of this video is going to like show you some more math, like working with them in their different ability level groups. And then also going to show um, some math centers when I start pulling small groups. So you won't see me pulling my small groups, but you will see the kids working in um, different math centers that have been introduced and to see how that goes during, how that would look while I work with small groups. I need another penny. You don't have to use that penny. You got it. Ooh, I what should I always it. see in our ones place? Let me count. Working as a group friend, it has to be in the place value chart with your group. That kind friend, thank you. All right, over here now. What do we do on this side, friend? So we have this 10. What are we gonna do? We need some more. B bundle it. Nope, we don't need any ones. Bundle that and put that in. Good job. Good job. Kind words, please, friend. Mm, the last box on our chart is what? Use your 120 chart. We don't stop at 110. to bottom, left to right. Don't skip around. You don't want to make any mistakes. Don't skip around. You don't want to make any mistakes. That's 3-3, three, three, which would be 33. 33 goes right there. 33 goes right here. Yes, 
that's two threes, so that would be 33. 32. Yes, it goes right here. So what number would that be? Two tens and five ones. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Mm -hmm. Right here, right here. So go this way. Count down. Forty-one. Mm -hmm. What's next? 